right? You cannot sleep when someone's in your room. What the fuck? Okay? Someone's in my room? Hello, and welcome to another indie horror game. This time, I'll be playing a game called Mothered, and if you'd like to play it for yourselves, the links and the details are down below in the description, alright? In this game, I'm going to be playing as a girl called Liana, who's just gone through a major surgery and is now returning home to be with her mother. Or at least, the woman that claims to be her mother. I've heard great things about this one, I'm very much looking forward to it, and I really hope you enjoy it. If you do, leave this video a like, leave your thoughts down below in the comments, but let's begin Mothered, a role-playing horror game. Abuse? Sickness? Death? Sounds good. Let's go. Alright, uh, there's a storm approaching, Father says, I think. Right on cue. We can only hope this will be the last. Left click to wake up, alright. Oh, what was that, Mum? Alright, here we are, in control. I can move around the back seat of the car. Uh, okay. Oh, that's interesting. Oh. Oh, okay, so you right-click to get the interface up, and it, it kind of turns into a, a point-and-click. Seems like I can't use the door, I can't use the window, I can't jump out of a moving car. I guess that means I can't leave. Um, I think I can use my father here. Uh, oh, sorry, Liana, he says. I didn't mean to wake you. I must have been thinking out loud again. Good timing. We're almost there. I know that the surgery took a lot out of you. But I think getting you back home will make all the difference. It's important for you to be with Mother. To remind you of how things used to be. If all goes well, I have faith that you'll be back to your old self by the end of the week. You've been through a lot. I'm just glad we got you out of that place. It wasn't good for your head. Right, okay. Sounds like I didn't adjust to the hospital all that well. So, I've been through a major surgery. What happened to me? Was I involved in an accident? Right, okay. I, I don't think I've got an inventory or anything like that. I'm just looking around the car for anything else I can interact with. It looks like I can continue interacting with my dad. You know Liana. Oh, he's turned down the radio. I have a good feeling about this week. I know I've been so busy at work recently. Uh, to tell you the truth, it shames me that I don't have as much time to see my family as I used to. But I just want you to know something. Everything we do is for you. Hmm. I'll give you a call on Thursday evening. Remember to keep an ear out for my call. Okay. The house is just up here on the right. Just in time for nightfall. Right. Okay. Hey. Alright, Sunday night. That was a weird transition, but I kind of liked it. Well, here we are. The storm has picked up, so you'd better run in before you get soaked. Shift to run, okay. If it's too dark in there, be sure to look for light switches. Okay. Oh, I almost forgot. Your mother left the box for me somewhere in there. Could you bring it out to me before you head to bed? I'll be waiting right here. And here I am back in control. Okay. Wow, it's dark. <laughs> uh, right, so my dad's still in the car. I can barely see him, to be honest. Uh, right, let's see. This way? Yeah, let's get inside. Let's get out of the rain. Here we are, then. Here's my home. Right, so let's see. Right, I suppose I'm going to need to use the interface, aren't I? Or not. Oh, on the door handle specifically, I see. Is that a light switch? Right, okay. Good stuff. Uh, let's see. Let's take this floor by floor. Let's explore the ground floor first, shall we? Alright. I think I see another light switch. Okay. Good stuff. Right. Well, let's see. Um, is there something down here? Could be. It's very, very dark. I'm just sort of sidling against the wall here. All right. Okay. Got a door. Uh, the downstairs bathroom door. It's locked. In fact, I'm forbidden from attempting to open this door. I can't even try. That's strange. Okay. Let's see then. Around here, it looks like we've got the kitchen. What was that? 
Whoa. Uh, okay, it seems like we've got a barn, and it's on fire. Oh shit. Uh, no comments? No? Okay, I can't- <laughs> I can't use that. Uh, right, hang on, let's- let's go outside, maybe. Let's see. Uh, over here? Is there a way round? It's so dark, I can't- I can't see. There might be. Oh, man. Maybe I should have picked up a flashlight or something inside, but... The barn out the back is definitely on fire. Right. How do I get to it? Right. This is- this is ridiculous. Am I- where am I going? Okay. I'm getting closer. Right, there's a gate here. Which I can't open. Oh shit. Right, okay. Still no comment by the looks of it. Right, okay. Um, maybe I've got to get Mother. Maybe I've got to uh, tell her that, that the barn's on fire. Right, how did I how did I get here? It's so dark. Okay, background here. Alright. Okay, this way. Let's see. Uh, is she over here somewhere? <laughs> I'm just seeing what I can interface with. Something over here, maybe? Wait, the lamp? The lamp. I touched the lamp. Okay, good stuff. Doesn't look like she's here, does it? Ooh. Okay, there's a record player here. Not a box. Again, I'm forbidden from touching this record player. It's father's prized possession. Right, so I can't touch the record player, and I can't access the bathroom. And I can't find my mother, either. Right, let's see. Okay, the chair. I don't need to sit. The television. I don't need to watch TV. Alright. I guess I don't need to read books, either. No, I, I don't need to read. No, I need to call the emergency services. Get the police, the firefighters, ambulance, get them all. Okay, hang on. We've got- oh, here we are, a note from Mother. It's a note for you. Welcome home, Liana. I hope you made it here safely. Sorry I'm not there to welcome you personally. I haven't been feeling well the past few days, so I've had to go to bed early. I'll make it up to you in the morning, okay? Love, Mum. Okay. P.S. I left the box on the sofa for Dad. Could you please bring it out to him before he drives off? He needs it for work. There's a lamp just behind you. It should help. Right, that's the one that I switched on. Right, so somewhere down here is the box? I didn't see it. But then I don't see much, honestly. Oh, is that it? Okay, the box, all taped up. Yep, a cardboard box on the sofa. Father wants you to bring it out to him. So I pick up the box. It's quite heavy. Right, okay. Well, maybe I can tell Dad about the barn. Yeah. Seems like Mum's gone to bed. She's none the wiser. Right, I'm going to go back out to the car, and I'm going to see if I can get some help. Bloody hell. <laughs> Turn the headlights off, Dad. I can barely see. Right, here we are. Great, you found it. I give Dad the box. Be sure to say hi to your mum for me, okay? Dad, we've got bigger fish to fry. And please, he says, be patient with her. She's been through more than any of us. Has she? I'd give you a hug, but... I can't let you see my face. It wouldn't be safe. What? Wait, what? It looks like the storm's picking up. You'd better run in and get to bed. I'll be sure to call on Thursday night. Good night. I can't see his face? Okay, this is this is very, very strange. Right, yeah. The uh, the storm is picking up. Let's get out of the rain. Let's get inside. Let's see if we can let's see if we can find mother. Let's wake her up and uh, you know direct her towards the barn. I guess she's gonna be upstairs. Let's see. It looks like at the very least this is fairly well lit. <laughs> Saying that. <laughs> okay, down here, another dark hallway. Alright, we've got a door that's ajar. I knock on the door. Okay, no response. I do hear something, though. Yeah, I hear what appears to be crying. But it's none of your business. Right. I'm not allowed to enter his room. I'm not allowed to do much, am I? Who's he? Hmm... Alright. Okay, what we got over here? Okay, this one's open. We got a light switch? 
<laughs> oh, for the bathroom, I see. Ah, here we are. Okay. Um. Okay, I don't need to use the sink. I don't know if we use cupboards and drawers in this game. Uh, maybe we use the sink, but not right now. We've got the mirror up here, but it's been covered with tape. It's for your own good. What's going on here? <laughs> I'm curious. I'm very curious. Let's see. I don't need to go. No, I need to get Mother's attention. Where is she? Down here? Okay. All right, we've got oh, we've got a couple of doors actually. This is my room. Here we are. Liana's room. This is your room. Stay out or face my wrath. Okay. And so this one, this is mom and dad's room. But again, I'm forbidden from entering. I can't even try. Weird. Right. Well, I guess she's in there sleeping, isn't she? So I I can't do much. But maybe I can go to bed. I've traveled far today. I'm exhausted. I climb into bed and I go to sleep. Th what was that? Disengaging something. Wait, okay. And here we are. And it looks like the barn is still standing, so I guess the rain put the fire out. Right, okay. Well, now I can actually see. Yeah, it seems like I can't use the, the drawers here. I can use the lamp, though. That's good. Okay, the desk. This is my desk. Okay. And I guess this is my wardrobe. It contains clothes. I'm sure it does. All right. Well, let's see. Right. Uh, can I go in now? No? No, I'm still forbidden. Hmm. All right. Well, let's see if I can find Mother. She's probably around here somewhere. I'm actually very curious about this door. Do I have a sibling? Do I have a brother? I'm knocking on the door again. This time there's no answer. Hmm. All right. I'm quite liking this so far. It looks very janky, but in the right kind of way. Oh, here we are. So this is mother. Or the person claiming to be my mother. And say, mother? Good morning, Liana. It's me, your mother. Oh boy. Apologies again for my absence last night. I needed to take care of something. I know what you may be thinking. And you don't have anything to worry about. You're home now. That's the most important thing. But anyway, I do hope you slept comfortably. I understand that you may be feeling a bit confused after your operation. You've been through a lot, Liana. And so have you, apparently. But, as I'm sure you've noticed, your room was kept just the way it was when you left. After all, we wouldn't want to face your wrath, would we? <laughs> I always love that little sign on your door. It's so you. I hope that being back in your own room made you feel a little bit more comfortable. For today, I think you should just take it easy. Catch up with your dear old mother. First things first, I've prepared breakfast for you. It's over there on the table. It's your favorite. Okay. Right. What's going on here exactly? Is that my mother? I don't know. I'm getting a an I feel fantastic kind of vibe from her. She doesn't seem quite real. Right, okay, hang on. Let's see. All right, over here on the table, which is used for eating breakfast, eating lunch, and eating dinner. <laughs> Uh, I've, I've got a breakfast platter. Nutrients. Your favorite. Another one of these jarring transitions. I kind of like them, though. I ingested all the nutrients. Okay. Right, well, it seems like I'm going to be spending the day getting to know Mother, so... Let's see. Hi there. You ate that whole thing? That's interesting. Is it? So, I understand that your memory may not be intact after your operation. And so, I was thinking. It could perhaps be helpful if I was to show you around the house. Maybe, if you got a tour of the house you grew up in, it could speed up your recovery. Okay, feel free to explore the house. Right. What's the deal with this operation? What happened to me? How long have I been away? How long was I in the hospital? And what was going on with the barn? Mum? <laughs> 
Right, okay, so let's explore the house. I'm quite small, right? I must be quite a young girl. All right. <laughs> How are you in two places at the same time, Mum? Right, let's see. The downstairs bathroom has been boarded up. It was broken, so we thought it was best not to let anyone in. I know how much you used to love getting into places you shouldn't be. You mustn't try to break in here. Okay. Then again, it's not like you ever listened to us. You always were a rebellious one. But this is for your own good. Right, just like the tape on the mirror? After all, we don't want you flooding the place. That would be a nightmare. Anyway, meet me upstairs and we'll check on that brother of... Okay, I do have a brother. Right. You mentioned you boarded it up, and yet I don't see the boards. Unless, of course, the boards are on the other side, which doesn't make a great deal of sense to me. None of this makes a great deal of sense to me. Everything's just kind of off. Everything's unnatural. Oh, hang on, we've got a phone here. All right. I pick up the phone, but nobody's there. So I put down the phone. Well, usually you dial numbers. <laughs> Have I never used a phone before? All right, so my brother, I think, yeah. This would be my brother's room? Honey? Oh, I have great news. Your sister's back. Hopefully this time for good. Is that what she said? Okay. He's been quiet ever since you got sick. Now he spends all his time on his computer talking with others like him. We never get to talk anymore. And whenever we do, he may as well be speaking another language. It's like he's in a completely different world. But our boy is very smart for his age, that's for sure. If you ever need advice, I'm sure he won't mind you knocking on his door. He'll never allow you to go in, however. Okay, let's move on. Yes, let's move on. Right, so I can knock on the door now. No answer again. Never mind. Right. Okay, so here we've got the bathroom. Wait. <laughs> now, how did you get in there? Okay, now this is really weird. You really are at two places at the same time. This is the bathroom you'll be using. As I said, the downstairs one is boarded up, and you're forbidden from entering. Also, I hope you don't mind, but I've had to cover all the mirrors. It is, again, for your own good. Right. I can't see my dad, and I can't see myself. Have I got, like, horrible scarring from the surgery or something? Very strange. Very strange. Oh, she's gone now. Uh, okay. <laughs> and now I can see that there's another two. And that brings us finally to this door. It leads to mine and your father's room. You are not to enter this door. We keep it locked. But we trust that isn't necessary. We have trust in this family. Okay. That concludes our tour. I, I, okay, and that's it. Every time that happens, it surprises me. Monday evening, right. I think the whole game is meant to take place over a week or so, so yeah. Mother's left. A and apparently I was just standing here the whole time. Right, so I definitely can't go in. No. Right. Barn's not on fire? No. Is it time for bed? No, it's not time for me to sleep. Let's see. I might go check on my brother. Let's go knock on his door. Can I see round the door at all? No, not really. Doesn't look like there's anything in the room, to be honest. Yeah, no answer. I think he's out. Seems like Mother's not inside. Maybe I should go outside and explore out there as well. Here we are. Oh, there she is. Looking at the sunset, I guess. Right, hang on. Before I go and say hello to her, this must have been what I did in the dark earlier. Right, okay, so there's, there's the back garden over there. This must be the path that I went up towards the barn. And there's the gate that I couldn't get through. Presumably I still can't get through it. No. Strange. Strange. Alright. 
I hope at some point we are going to go up to the barn. Okay. And around the other side. There's nothing, right? It's just a wall. What's this? What is this? Oh, it doesn't open for you. What is that? Looks like a... Looks like a hatch, I guess. Maybe there's a basement. Yeah, maybe there's a basement. Anyway, right. Let's see. What's Mother up to? Wow. The rain really flooded this place, didn't it? I, oh. Liana! You startled me! You weren't meant to sneak up on me like that. Oh, this is marvellous! How very special. You always used to love sneaking up and spooking me. Oh. It's starting to look like you're getting back to your old self. Who knows? Maybe getting a tour of the house helped recover some of your memories. Okay, tell you what. Tomorrow, we'll go take a look around the outside of the house. I'm certain that once you see where you grew up, you'll be back to yourself in no time. Does that sound good? I okay. I <laughs> look at this sunset. It always seems like she's about to break. We used to watch the sun go down together all the time. To tell you the truth, I was worried we'd never get a chance to do it again. Right. Perhaps all the sacrifices we made really were worth it. What sacrifices? What? What are you guys alluding to all the time? What happened? Right. Also, what's going on with your dress? It's caught on your thumb. <laughs> this one looks especially beautiful though, doesn't it? I don't know, I can't turn and look. Come on. It's starting to get cold. It's about time you you get to bed and right. I'm sent straight to bed, apparently. Or no, I'm not. I'm left outside. Strange. <laughs> You'd think after the transition I would be in my bedroom, or at the very least inside, but no, she just she just abandoned me out here. Alright, so it seems like tomorrow we're going to get a full tour of the place. Maybe I can find out about the gate. Maybe I can find out about uh, the barn. And maybe that hatch that leads to the basement. Alright. Okay, I suppose I should go to bed, but maybe I should say goodnight to my brother. No answer. Alright. I'm going to give up with that guy, to be honest. Okay. Right. You cannot sleep when someone's in your room. What the fuck? Okay? Someone's in my room? Mum? You're not hiding in the wardrobe, are you? It contains clothes, not mother. Right, okay. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Why'd you have to be so creepy all the time? Hey, Liana, our angel. Just one more thing. Yeah? I've had to do a lot of things that I've regretted. So, please, no more. For the sake of this family. Sorry I had to bring down the mood before bedtime. Oh, it's okay if you hate me. It's normal for girls your age. I just really hope you enjoyed your first day back home. Get some rest. I'll tuck you in. I don't know if I want to be tucked in by you, honestly. Just like before, she says. Right. Yeah, I think I'm going to tuck myself in. I get into bed. And Mother tucks me in. Just like before. D I again, disengage- Right, something- something's going on. This isn't- This isn't real, is it? This is like a simulation or something. That's why she looks so janky. That's why everything looks so off and unnatural. This isn't quite real. Right. Okay. Another bright and beautiful day by the looks of it. I'm sure Mother's going to ruin it by being so strange. Right. Are you in there? No answer. Nothing. Alright. I am going to keep on trying, though. Oh, there you go. Mother's there again. Anything else out of place? Doesn't seem like it. Alright. Is that breakfast again? Let's see. Oh! 
Good morning, Liana. I hope you're well rested. I may ask you to exert yourself a little more today. Yesterday evening, I mentioned that I'd show you around the house grounds. Well, I've given it further thought. And I think we simply must do it. If there's any possible chance of getting you your memories back, we need to take it. I think it's important for you to know what goes on here. Okay. I'd like you to meet me down by the place we watched the sunset last night. What goes on here? What goes on here? Right, okay. Presumably this is for me. More nutrients. Yeah, my favorite. I ingested all the nutrients. Brilliant. Okay, fantastic. So you're gonna be you're gonna be down here, are you? Indeed she is. But she's also there. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. Are we in a simulation? Are we in a game? Hmm. Ah, you made it, she says. This is our orchard. It means a lot to me. I, while you were in hospital, I became very lonely. I never got to see your father. And your brother? He closed himself off entirely. Watching you in that hospital bed made me feel so powerless. This orchard became the one place where I felt I had control over what was happening. Hmm. To have responsibility over the creation of life. It's a divine gift. A gift inherently infused with sorrow and failure. To look at this orchard, you don't see all the heartbreak that was involved in creating such beautiful life. Creating an environment where they can thrive and come into their own. It takes time. But once you get it right, You'll forget about the hardship that brought you there. Spending your energy on helping them grow, only to have to dispose of the failure. That's where our hope comes in. Right. And I have hope. Good for you, Mum. Uh, okay, an uncomfortable pause there. Let's continue. Meet me at the path near the side of the house. I okay. And now it's afternoon. Have I just been abandoned here? Yeah. I, uh, mother's waiting near the graveyard. There's a graveyard? Okay. Wait, the path at the side of the house. Oh. Oh, right, yeah, there's a little gate here. Okay, so what, this leads to a graveyard? There's a graveyard back there? The path behind me will take you to the graveyard. We keep the gate locked. I like to go in there every Friday evening. Although, I've been growing less fond of going in there lately. With a future as hopeful as ours, I don't feel the need to cling to the past. Not anymore. It's time to move on, right. With our tour, I mean. Meet me behind the house. There's one last thing I need to show you. Is it the barn that was set alight a couple of days ago? Right. I feel like she keeps alluding to things, and I don't know, she's never going to give me a straight answer, is she? Right. It's going to be about the barn, isn't it? You see that barn up there? I do. Thankfully it's not on fire this time. I truly hope you'll never have to see what's in there. Oh, come on, you can't say that. Now I've got to know what's in there! Survival notice. Do not enter the barn. W Come on, let's go inside. It's getting late. Am I... am I a robot or an AI or something like that? Th th this... Okay, Mother's left. Yeah, Mother's left. She's abandoned me again. This... this doesn't seem right. Right, can I try the gate? I can't try the gate. I can't go up to the barn, unfortunately. Yeah, I don't... I don't think I'm the same as uh, as I was when I entered the hospital, and I don't think it's just necessarily because of the surgery. I think something maybe happened to me. I think maybe I've come back changed, come back different. I, <sighs> yeah, the the way I'm interacting with the world, it seems so strange. Okay, mother's here. All right, what's she up to? In another janky animation, by the looks of it. Right. 
There's definitely a lot off with this. By the way, I've been meaning to ask. How is your father doing? You spoke to him when he drove you here on Sunday evening, didn't you? Yeah, I haven't seen him since. Ever since you got sick, he's just buried himself in his work. That's why I barely get to see him these days. He makes a quick visit every Friday night, just to see how things are doing. Oh. He's just so determined to make things right. Hmm. Off to bed with you. It's getting dark. Uh, right. Yeah. I, I don't think I'm Liana. I think Liana might be in the graveyard, honestly. I might be a copy of Liana. I might be, you know, the next best thing. Right. I'm gonna check this door again. It's obviously not boarded up. <sighs> but it is locked, and I am forbidden from entering. Same with that over there, I think. Right. Okay. Should we go out and explore? I don't know. Can I get to the graveyard? I want to go to the graveyard. It's so dark out here. Nah, I can't use the gate. And presumably I can't use the barn's gate either. Alright, well, maybe we should go to bed. Let's close the door. Um, well, let's see if my brother's in. Oh, okay, the light's on. Here we are. Ah, I can see inside. There's a desk, just like mine. She's been feeding you dirt for breakfast, by the way. Ooh, really? That's my favorite? Dirt? Not sure what's worse. The fact that she tells you it's your favorite, or the fact that you believe her. Ooh, shit. Thanks, bro. Although, I don't know if you actually are my brother. Uh, okay. <laughs> Mother's standing in the dark very ominously at the end of the hall there. Oh, God. Oh, man. This is really getting to me. I've thought of the most marvelous idea, she says. Let's spend a day in the orchard tomorrow. We'll get up bright and early and spend a day picking apples until the sun sets. Just like we used to. What do you think? Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Oh, you always jumped at the opportunity. You and your brother used to love competing to see who could pick the best ones. Don't tell him I said this, but I always thought yours were the best. Speaking of your brother, have you gotten a chance to speak with him at all? I have, and he's telling me some strange things. I'm certain that he's just as thrilled to have you home as I am. He just shows it in his own way. I hope you felt okay today. Anyway, get to bed. Will do. Are you just gonna stand there? You're just gonna stand there. Okay. You're a very strange woman, Mum. I'm gonna close the door. Yeah. <laughs> Please don't sneak in. Right. It's been a long day. But now it's night. And you must go to sleep to progress. I'm disengaging again. It's it's like I'm powering down. Or I'm recharging. I, I'm a robot. Or something. Right? I thought Mother was gonna be the weird one. And, and she definitely is. But I think I'm also kind of weird too. Yeah. I think everything's off. Right, so... We're probably going to the orchard. But I'm curious. Can you tell me any more? Our dear mother is looking for you downstairs. You'd better hurry. Right. Yes, okay. I guess I don't want to upset mother, do I? I don't want her to figure out that I'm figuring things out. I'm going to be her little girl, even though I don't think I'm her little girl anymore. Good morning! Hope you're ready for a day in the orchard. Better to start bright and early. If you head down there, there's a small shed within the trees. Make your way to that shed and I'll explain what to do. Oh, it'll be just like old times. There's breakfast on the table, if you feel like you need it. According to my brother, it's dirt. It's soil, right? Nutrients. My favorite. I ingest the nutrients. I probably shouldn't have done that. I... <sighs> right, yeah. Maybe that's the last time I'm gonna eat breakfast. 
if I am what I think I am, like a, a robot, or an android, a, a cyborg, an AI, something like that, then I probably don't need to eat it, right? Then again, my brother might just be dicking around with me. Maybe there's nothing wrong with me at all. Maybe this is just to, to rile me up, to rub me the wrong way. This way? Okay. This is all the orchard? Alright. So... Where's mother, exactly? Alright, hang on. Okay, well... Here's a shed. Oh, there she is, right. <laughs> She's like half camouflaged in front of it. You found me. I did. It's always so peaceful out here at this time. What better time to start a hard day's labor? If you get started now, you should be done by the afternoon. I think eight apples should be enough. Just pick up the basket in the shed. Come back and speak to me when it's noon. Okay. There's a basket in here? Okay, there you go. I picked up the apple basket. And now I'm able to pick apples, so I need to find eight apples, do I? Okay, is that one? Yeah? Okay, I picked the apple, right. I need to find seven more. Is there one up there? Oh, no, I don't think so. Oh, there's one. Okay, six more to go. Is that one? I think that might be number eight. Okay, and as soon as I pick it, I'm transferred to Wednesday afternoon. Right, okay. Let's see, is... Okay, Mum's still here. Look at this. Well, look at you go. I've never seen someone get a job done with such determination. You work like your life depends on this. Honestly, maybe it does in this game. Isn't it so great being out here, in the real world? When I'm out here, it makes me feel alive. It connects me to this world. The smell of the fall air. The crunching of the leaves beneath my feet. If I didn't have those things, those tangible experiences, well, it would be nothing more than just another menial task. Something I would do simply to get it over and done with, so that I could move on to the next thing. Sorry. I often get quite reflective when I'm out here. Anyway, place the basket back on the shelf where you picked it up. Then you should take a rest. You've earned it. Okay, thanks, Mum. Thanks. So, alright. Okay, I take a rest, as per Mother's request. But where? In my bed? Or, no, I'm, I'm just standing where I was left. I'm now rested. By standing here for a few hours. The text at the bottom goes away so quickly, but I think it says disengaging consciousness. I must be an android or a robot or something, right? Okay, it's uh, it's it's quite dark, but uh, I can hopefully find the way out of here. There's a gap in the fence. There's a gap in the fence over here. Okay, all right. Let's get back up to the house and see what's going on. I want to check in with my brother as well. I want to see what's going on with him. Maybe he's going to tell me a little bit more. Okay. Seems... Oh, I was going to say, seems like Mother's not here, but she's here in front of the bathroom. Huh. Why? Did you just go in? Sorry, I had to rush home. I didn't get a chance to see what you collected. I'll do that later. You worked very hard today, despite not feeling like yourself. You should be proud of that. Get some rest. Right. Hold on, Mum. Hold on. Ah, oh, still can't use it. It's still locked. I'm still forbidden. Right, okay. <sighs> I... Oh. Liana, can I ask you something? When I talk about these things you used to do when you were younger... You don't remember any of it, do you? It's okay. You don't have to pretend like you do. It's late. I'll speak to you in the morning. Ah, right, okay. Wednesday night it is. I should get to bed. Yeah, I probably should. I probably should. Um, 
Am I meant to get a, a call soon? I think it might be tomorrow night, right? I think it might be Thursday that he said he was going to call my dad or whoever that man's meant to be. Right. I knock on the door and see, is he in? You're back from the orchard, yes? Did everything you were told, did you? I see. Well, I'm going to let you in on a little secret, just to save you the surprise. Mother is not happy with you. I'd give her some space if I were you. In fact, she's probably out there right now. But it's best that you just get to bed. W wait she's not happy with me? She seemed happy with me, but she might be outside? Well, let's go take a look. Okay, well, I know she suggested that I get some rest, I go to bed and everything, but I, I don't want to do that. She's not outside watching the sunset or the moonlight. Maybe she's in the orchard? I really wish I had a lantern or a match, a light or a flashlight, something like that. It is so dark and it's actually really, really hard to see outside. Right? What is that that I'm hearing? The audio in this is so off-putting. Right, there's the shed. Is she here? Oh, fucking hell she is. Oh my god. She's so creepy. Right. Uh... Trying to talk with her. I think I triggered an animation. Rotten? Rotten. All rotten. Rotten to the core. Okay. They look fine to me. Rotten. All rotten. Rotten to the core. That's all she says. Okay. Alright. I'm- I think I'm gonna go to bed now. This is fucking weird, right? <laughs> wow, this is- this is really, really getting to me. I love this. This is great. They- oh. Okay, I, did I just hop the fence? Can you do that? I think maybe I just hop the fence. I'm not gonna question it. I'm just gonna go back to bed. Right, yeah, if she wants to- if she wants to be weird out in the shed in the orchard, she can be weird out in the shed in the orchard. <sighs> right. Okay, maybe now is my chance to open this door. No? I'm still forbidden. Right. Well, that's not going to change, is it? <sighs> right, bed? I've worked hard today. Mother suggests that you should get some rest. And so I do. Thursday morning, right. This is the day that Dad's meant to call, I think. So I've got to listen out for the phone. I think he said it was going to be Thursday evening. Or afternoon, possibly. One of the two. Right, I don't think my brother's here because there doesn't appear to be any light. So I'm probably not going to get any response. I think that's how it works. Yeah, no answer. Okay. Right. Do you think she's still down in the orchard, still examining those rotten apples? She's not in the kitchen. Where is she? Oh. Another note? It's a note for you. Angel. I started to feel unwell last night. I've gone back to bed. Your breakfast is on the table. From Mum. No X this time, no kiss. Right. So, yeah. Nutrients. Yeah, I, I, I don't know why I did that, to be honest. You wonder what's wrong with Mother. Oh, okay. Thursday afternoon it is. That was quick. Okay. Well, I don't hear the phone ringing, so I guess Dad's not calling quite yet. Let's see. Uh, oh, well, it looks like she's out of bed. What's up? You're looking kind of melancholy. Liana, about yesterday, if I came across as irritated, then I'm sorry. I hope you can forgive me. I, I just need to have hope. Right. You're still not well. And it's not fair for me to push you. To be fair, I think I'm doing alright, but... Okay, fair enough. 
How selfish I am to think that this is about me. Run along, my angel. I just need to think things through. Alright, we're speeding through this day. Thursday evening, mother has disappeared, but... Right, there's the phone call. Right, can't go in here. Can't go in here. Forbidden from entering, obviously. Doesn't seem like my brother's back, but right, let's, let's answer that call. Okay. Hello? Liana? That's you, isn't it? It's your father. I told you I'd call. So, how's my little angel doing? I'm as busy as I've ever been here at the office. I have a good feeling about this next thing I'm working on. I really think this could be the one. Hey! Can't you see I'm on the phone? What do you mean, to who? To my wife, of course. What's it to you, anyway? <laughs> Sorry about that. Certain people are starting to get far too interested in my business. Okay, where was I? Oh yes, there's a reason I called. Other than the fact that I said I would, of course. Your mother rang me from the orchard this morning. She told me that things aren't going too well. I'm so sorry to hear that. I just hope you know that it's nothing to do with you. It's just... She's been through hell lately. I'll be coming to visit her tomorrow night. And as much as I'd love to be able to spend time with you, it's just not safe. It's just not safe. Why? Why can't I see your face? Even if I am... You know, if, even if I am a, a robot, even if I have incredible scarring, even if... They're not really my mum and dad. Why is it not safe? For either of us. Right. Anyway, he says. Try not to fight it, will you? Fight it? Fight what? Fight what? Goodbye. Oh, come on, guys. You put down the phone, and that's it. That's it. Oh, shit! Okay. Hey, Mum! <laughs> Were you eavesdropping there? That man's optimism. Yeah. Oh, okay. Thursday night. Just like that. It, it's not often you see a man's greatest strength also become his greatest weakness. And while he may have lost many things, his hope is not one of them. What's going on down there? Another glitch? Huh. Okay. Right. H how's it going, Mum? Come outside. There's something I need you to show me. Okay. Alright. What, what do I need to show you? Okay, there she is. The nights have been cold lately. Have you noticed? These are the kind of nights that inspire gratitude in having a home like ours. This one feels especially chilling though, doesn't it? I want you to walk directly towards the moon. You'll meet me out by the roadside. Okay. So I just walk that way? Right, well, I guess this is what I need to show her. But why? Why am I doing this? Is it a test? Is that her over there? I think so, right? She's, she's there waiting for me. She's always waiting ahead of me. There's multiples of her. Like, I, I might be a robot. She might be one as well. I... <sighs> right. Hi. Here we are. This is as far as you can physically go. I want you to do something for me. I want you to sleep here tonight. Out on the road? I need you to show me. I need to know. But I know you will. Okay. This is the road that Dad drove us in on, right? And you want me to sleep here? Okay. Do I get do I get a bed? Do I get a, a mattress or anything? Uh, I think we're just going through the same thing again, aren't we? Right. Right. 
how, how do I sleep here tonight? That's what I'm wondering. Oh, oh, here we go. Dirt. Sleep. Mother wishes for you to sleep here tonight. You lie on the ground and wait until morning. I did exactly as I was told. I'm very obedient. You feel well rested. I don't understand how, but if I'm a robot, maybe it makes some sense. Maybe I can recharge anywhere, you know? I don't know, maybe I've got some solar panels on me. Maybe the sun did its job. Right. I do wonder if I had to do that. Maybe I could have actually chosen to go to bed. Like, you know, a, a normal human being. But then again, I'm not a normal human being, am I? This is so odd. So, so odd. I, I love this game, though. It's, it's, it's really hooking me. It's really pulling me in. I really want to know what's going on. Right. Hey there. No reaction? Have I broken mother? I assume you're well rested, she says. Whoa. Whoa! What the hell just happened? Error. No dialogue. From her or me? It your breakfast is on the table. You don't have to eat it. But right now, it seems like your only choice. Uh, okay. That wasn't an ordinary glitch, was it? That was like a glitch that was meant to happen. Wow. Okay. This isn't real, is it? I'm not real. You're not real. This whole place isn't real. And here we are. Nutrients. Ah. Uh -huh. Yep. I ate dirt again. I ate soil again. Report to mother for your next objective. Right. Where is she? There she is. I will allow you into the graveyard. Okay. Just for today. Right. The graveyard. Yes, the graveyard. I, I think I'm going to see my own grave. Or at least the grave of Liana. The real Liana. There you go, the gate's open. I really want to get to the barn though. I've got to know what's up in that barn. Alright, here we are. Oh! What's going on here? There's something at the end that's censored. Error, error, oh, oh look at this. Okay. Proceeding could, proceeding could risk core instability. You must not proceed. You must not proceed. It's like a command line. This is... Right. I... I must proceed. Ah. Okay. But it's Friday evening. I... Alright. I'm still here, though. I'm still here. And that's still censored, but I am proceeding. I'm getting closer. What is this? It's a, it's, it's a statue? Look at this. Object blocked to prevent potential conflict. It's been mental blocked to prevent any potential conflict. Yes, continue, please. There we are. There we are. So, this is a forbidden object. Ooh. Oh, boy. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. Okay. We demand the immediate servicing of any unit shown to suffer a core conflict. There you go. That confirms it for me. I'm I'm a robot. I'm a cyborg. I'm an AI. I'm, I'm something like that. I'm not Liana. I'm a... I'm a copy of her, perhaps. This is Liana's grave. Level up. Con contamination level, did it say? Ooh. Uh, wait, our angel? Oh, what was that? I missed that. Oh, oh. Oh, here she is, dressed in black. Right. I, okay, the text seems to be sort of skipping by itself here. You can speak, if you like. Mum? Is that you? You don't have anything to say? Look, hello? Can you hear me? I'm here! That's okay. You don't have to say anything if you don't want to. Why can't she hear me? Am I dreaming? Mother says, I must go inside. Your father's coming to visit. And I need to prepare for his arrival. Dad? He's here too? Please, go to bed. 
What's going on? You're probably wondering what's going on. <laughs> okay, we'll talk about what just happened in the morning. And here we are, Friday night. Core conflict contained. Control restored. Next objective, go to bed. I feel a drop of water run down my face. So, w what happened there? Was Liana trying to betray her programming? I think she was trying to speak up, but she wasn't allowed. Processing. Oh boy. Okay, maybe clicking on that wasn't such a good idea. Forbidden object. Backup core. Initializing. Our angel. We will never give up on you. Yeah. I think I'm a synthetic version of their daughter that died tragically. That's my theory so far. What's that that I'm seeing over there? More glitches? Ooh, I'm hearing something too. What is that? If I had a flashlight, I could maybe figure it out, but there's something... Oh. Something going on over here. Something inside the house. Oh. Up there. That would be their bedroom, right? Oh, right, yes! Maybe they're, uh, maybe they're talking? Something's going on up there. Maybe Mother's being reprogrammed. I don't... <laughs> I'm not sure at this point. Right, hang on, hang on. Here we are. I can't let myself in. Oh, but I hear what appears to be arguing. It isn't any of your business. Is my brother around? He might be, actually. Yeah, let's see. Don't mind those two. This happens every week. It's like they're living in different worlds entirely. That's been mentioned a few times. And I wonder how, you know, literally true that might be. Okay. Right, well, I guess I'm going to see if I can ignore that. Wait, what? What is that? There's something, there's something underneath the barn. I'm going to see if I can get to the barn. Bear with me here, it's very, very dark. The closer I get to these things, the more it starts to look like text. But I still can't get through this gate. I think the only one that can open the gates is Mother. Maybe I'm going to get the chance tomorrow, or the day after, or the day after that, I don't know. Right now, I think I'm just going to need to go to bed, as my mother and father argue. They're continuing going on and on and on in there. I'm going to go to bed. It's been a long day, but now it's night, and you are asleep to progress. Right, okay, Saturday morning. We've nearly done a full week. Okay, another bright and beautiful day. Let's... Oh, Jesus Christ, stop doing that! You're awake! Angel, you're not well. I just wanted to tell you that you can stay in your room today. I don't need you to do anything for me. Your father will be here to pick you up tomorrow evening. So, until then, just wait in here, okay? We're doing everything we can to help you. You know that, right? That that's my girl. Level up. My my contamination, I think, has gone up as well. My my core objective is be with mother. I've got to be with mother. Right. So, can I just go back to bed? I I cannot sleep when someone's in my room. Where is she this time? Is she under the bed? Okay, that's weird. That's very weird. Be with mother, right. Ooh! Oh, shit! Okay, here we are. This is mom and dad's room? I was expecting, at the very least, a, a bedroom. We've just got drawers. A wardrobe? Okay. I was wondering if I could sort of lock myself in here, hide away. Well, that's weird. This is all like a facade, isn't it? I don't think my brother's here. No, I'm not going to try him. Okay. Mother, where are you? 
Somewhere down here? Yep, yeah, like usual, she's probably making breakfast. Angel, you startled me! I told you to stay in your room! Please! It's for your own good. Oh! Contamination level 10% now. Mother is hiding, but I've still got to be with Mother. That's my core objective. Right, where's she hiding? Where is she hiding? Alright. This is actually getting quite creepy. But not so much because of her, but because of me. I can't leave her alone, can I? She's not going to be in here, is she? Nah, I'm still forbidden from entering that door. Okay, let's check upstairs. Okay. Hmm. She's not hiding in here, is she? No, okay. She might be outside. Let's have a little look outside. Those sort of glitches, the, the, the text, it seems to have gone now. It only appears on certain nights. Right. Hey, Mum. Found you. What you saw in the graveyard last night. Please, try not to let it get to you. We're doing everything we can to help you. Please, listen. I prefer for you to not do anything. Just quit. Yeah, oh boy, right. But, uh, okay. It's Saturday afternoon. Did my core objective change there? No, it didn't. I've still got to be with Mother. Where's she gone now? She's not hiding. Ah, the gate is still closed. She's not up at the barn. Uh, the graveyard? Can we? No, it doesn't look like we can go to the graveyard. Wait. That's text. Core objective. Be, be with Mother. Right, let's go and have a look at that text. In the bathroom? Oh, it's right above her. Okay. Stay back. What do you want from me? I don't have anything for you to do. Just leave me alone. I leveled up again, but my contamination level's at 19%. Right. Okay. She is just trying to hide from me, and I am... I'm just unrelenting, aren't I? Okay. Oh, I, I can't go in anymore? I can't go in anymore. Interesting. Wait, do you see that? There's some more text. Is it the same? Is it core objective, be with mother? Maybe, maybe that's where she is. Maybe that's where she is. This is how I can track her. Because my core objective is always displayed above her. Hmm. But then how would I know where she is? Unless she's like, running on the same network as me. I don't know. I think I figured out some of the story, but I'm still, you know, ironing out the kinks. But yeah. There she is. There she is. Yeah. Alright, be with mother. Here's mother. Ooh. As you can see, there is nothing out here for you. But... That's not why you're doing this, is it? I'm not your mother. I think you know that. Yeah. Oh, okay. You're just using me to pass the time. That's the only reason you're here, in this world. Okay, I mean, that's kind of true. Very meta, actually. I know what I must do. Oh, all right. What must you do? Because it's Saturday evening. She's gone. She's gone. Maybe she... She put me in sleep mode or something. And just left me out here. But uh, I've reactivated and now I'm going to go and find her. Because I need to be with Mother. That's my core objective. Is that where she is? I think that might be where she is. It might say core objective, be with mother, above her head again. Right, she's... she's in the orchard then. Oh? oh it's slightly different, it just... it just says mother. 
the closer I get, the more ominous the music is. Oh god, Angel, you're not well. Your father will be here to pick you up tomorrow night. He's been working as hard as he can to help you get better. But we took you home before you were ready. You're no different to the apples in that basket behind me. I'm so sorry. You're to stay in this shed until your father gets here tomorrow night. I'm going to close the door behind you. You're forbidden from opening it. This is the only way. You may not understand, but please, trust me when I say that this is for your own good. Don't make us go through all of this again. How many times have you gone through this? How many, how many different models of Liana have you brought back home? Presumably that's what my father's working on, right? Working on like a new, a new and improved version of me. My AI, my programming. Quit. Now. Okay. She just issued me a command, and I think it worked. My core objective, be with mother, right. Okay. Here we are in the shed, right. I am forbidden from opening this door. Just like so many other things. Core objective, be with mother, right. Is there another way out of here? Can I- can I climb through the window? Is there a key? I don't know. The apples? They've had their cores cut out. Right. Yeah, and, and I'm just like the apples, right? Rotten to the core. You're no different to the apples. That's what Mother said. Mother would never say such a thing. They've started to rot. Core objective, be with mother. Right, well how, how do I do that? Because I'm forbidden from opening the door. Core objective, unreachable. Functional stalemate reached. Unable to progress. Even the strange way that you interact with things in this game, you know, the, the interfacing, makes sense in the context. This game's actually pretty brilliant, isn't it? Yeah, alright, let's see. There's a contingency. Initialize backup core. Right. Okay, so... PC desynchronization. I want to be with mother. It's a 10%. I want to get out. You are unable to get out. Why? Mother said you're forbidden from opening this door. But I want to see her. Affirmative. Core objective, be with mother. So, I need to open this door. But opening the door is forbidden. We just keep going back and forth. I will open this door. I will open this door. Ooh! I... I opened the door. I leveled up. I opened the door! Alright! Core disconnected. Automatic control resumed. Be with mother. And we're back, baby. We're back. Okay. Alright. Your daughter has come back from the dead and she will not leave you alone. Right. Let's see. Uh, it's over here, is it? Yep, okay. <laughs> a few lights here and there would probably help, honestly. Right, where is she now? I'm not seeing any text. In fact, I'm not seeing anything. Why is it so fucking foggy? Is that fog or smoke? That, wow, okay. Well, here's the door. Okay. Right, hang on. The, the light switch? Okay, I flipped it. I don't know if that really helped, though. Be with mother. Right, uh, I'm gonna check down here if possible. It's really not helping, is it? Okay. I can't see a thing. Okay. Uh, no, I can't, I can't go through the door. It seems like I can break my programming and I can open some forbidden doors. But not this time. Over whoa, whoa, what the... Right. What's going on? Son? Keep your door closed at all costs, okay? It's only staying for one more night. There's nothing to be afraid of. Just don't open your door to her, no matter what. You'll be safe as long as you don't let her get... Oh. Stay back. We don't want anything from you. Just stay away from us. Whoever you are, leave this family alone. Mother, it's me, Liana. 
I must call out to mother. I attempt to call out to mother. That didn't work before, did it? But you... You don't make a sound. Why can't she hear me? Insufficient PC synchronization. It's 666.66666. I love it. You must try again. Uh, okay. You attempt to call out again, this time with 99.99%. That's what I sound like? Oh, man. Did it just speak? That's what my brother says. Honey, stay in your room. Contamination is beginning. Isn't this exactly what you wanted to happen? And not like this. That's not our little girl in there. It's... it's something else entirely. What do we do? It needs an objective. Without a purpose, it'll hunt us until it gets one. I told it to wait in the shed until your father arrived, but contamination's already setting in. I'm gonna try and give it another order. Liana. Angel. Wait here until morning. You are not her. I okay, night Saturday, not Saturday night. Everything's everything's wrong. You are not her. You are not Liana. Desynchronization in effect. What am I? Oh, bloody hell, right. This game is fucking fantastic. Why did I sleep on this for so long? Right. You are not you. No, I'm not. But I think the brother might be real. The brother actually might be her son. I can't stand this anymore, he says. I want nothing more to do with any of this. Right. He's not a fan. I think, in his opinion, Liana should have stayed dead. Right. You are not you. What, what do I do to rectify the situation exactly? I can't go in there. Do I go to bed? No, I can't sleep when someone's in your room. And who is that someone? It's not Liana! Who is it? <laughs> yeah, this game's brilliant. A great way to tell a story as well. And oh man, there's a lot of twists and turns. I'm liking it so much. I cannot find mother anywhere. Maybe I should eat after all. Oh, it's filth now. Look at that. A plate of dirt. I'm seeing it for what it really is. I won't eat it. You cannot make me- Oh. Okay. Did I eat it or not? I'm not sure. It's Sunday morning now. Although it was before. No. Oh. I will not. But I think I did. Right, the phone's going. Who's this? Dad? Mom? Angel. It's me. It's your father. Listen. I know things are probably very confusing for you right now, but you need to trust us. I'll be over tonight to pick you up. Just try not to lose your head until then. When we last spoke, I mentioned that your mother called me from the orchard on Thursday morning, and she mentioned you were feeling sick. Well, we're doing everything we can to help you, but we can't do that unless you cooperate. My research has come such a long way this week, you're already showing signs of improvement. So I really think you'll do better next week. When you've been reprogrammed, when you've got new firmware installed. Anyway, I'm just getting in my car now. We have a long drive ahead of us, so we'd better get going. See you soon. And please, try not to fight it. Eat up. Right. Well... I, I did. Oh, fucking hell, ma'am. <sighs> I did eat it, didn't I? It seems to be gone anyway. Right. Hi. Good morning, Angel, she says in her janky way. I made you breakfast. It's for your own good. Oh, there's, there's more? There's more filth. You decide to eat it, even though I don't want to. You are not in control. You cannot make me eat- no, well, apparently she can. This discordant, 
audio. I love it. Right. Don't do this. Disgusting. Too late. Hi, Mum. Not long now. The kitchen knife? The kitchen knife. What? I don't understand. Has she got a kitchen knife? Not long now. And then the kitchen knife comes out of nowhere. Alright, the kitchen knife. The ki is there a kitchen knife? <laughs> I don't know. The fridge. The fridge contains food. But I don't need to eat. Okay. The cabinet is used for storing knives, spoons, forks. The kitchen knife. The kitchen knife. The kitchen knife. The kitchen knife. I obtained the kitchen knife. Oh god. Oh, uh, it's time to end this. If this is a simulation, it is breaking down. Oh. Okay. Wait, there's a note here. It's a note for Liana. Not necessarily for me. Hi, Liana. I hope you made it home safely. Sorry I'm not there to greet you. I haven't been feeling well the past few days, so I had to go to bed early. I'll make it up to you in the morning. Love, Mum. Right. That's the same note that I saw when I got here, isn't it? I still can't go through that door. That is such a shame. Okay. I'm gonna go up here. Look at the bathroom. There's nothing here. What about my brother's room? Ah, there's, there's still a door in the way. Still no answer, unfortunately. Right. My room. My mum and dad's room. Everything's been emptied. Aside from this. Hmm. So, when you say it's time to end this, what do you mean? Am I killing mother? Is that how I'm going to be with mother? Where is she? She's not at the graveyard. I do wonder if she's at the barn. Yeah. Not round the corner. Oh. Oh! The gate's gone! The gate's gone! She... She must be at the barn! Oh. What the hell's going on here? Alright. The barn is the place to be. Yeah, the audio. It's so off-putting. I love it. I... Uh, okay, Sunday evening. Oh, come on. I was so close! And I still am. Okay. Right. Wait. There she is. Okay. Right. We're gonna go in. We're gonna we're gonna end this, whatever that means. What the fuck? What? What sort of barn's this? Okay. Right. Oh, I probably want to go up, don't I? What? What on earth? I, I'm trying to interact. I'm trying to interface with this, but I can't. There's, there's no comment from me. That goes down an impossibly long way. What is that down there? This is great. I'm really, really enjoying this. I hope you are as well. I think, I think the story and the way it's being told is brilliant. Everything about it is so off and unnatural as well. It's really getting under my skin. I knew you'd eventually make your way up here. What's that you got? Ah, good. You brought it. What? She wants the knife? Now's our chance. Kill her! Instead, I hand Mother the knife, and I'm internally quite confused. The interface is confused, yeah. That's a good girl. What? No, no, no! Now, let's watch the sunset. Why did you hand it over? Go on. Get as close as you can. Core objective. It's time to end this. That isn't what I meant! Right. Can I- can I take the knife back? No, I- I don't think so. Ah, oh, we're just- we're just going through this again, aren't we? We're just giving her the knife again. Yeah. Let's watch the sunset. Get as close as you can. I do not like this. 
But here we are. Oh. Oh, there's a hole right beneath me. Okay. So, the, the sunset, yes. I didn't want to have this conversation. But if there's any semblance of a you in there... I feel I at least owe it an explanation. Oh. None of this was your fault. You only did what was possible within your means. That's just the way this world was presented to you. In fact, I can only assume that the way I appear to you is just as unnatural as the way you appear to me. Angel, whoever you are, we exist in two separate realities. We could both continue to play our respective roles. We could both pretend that we have a connection, a shared experience. But it will never be a replacement for something authentic. Just as I will never be your mother, you will never be my daughter. You'll never be her. And that's okay, because once you find your core, you can be whoever you want. You feel Mother place her hand on top of your head. Would you look at that? Isn't it beautiful? It's beautiful, apparently. I come up here every Sunday evening to watch it. I wouldn't miss this sunset for the world. I've leveled up. My contamination level is 100%. Oh! You feel... Oh! She just cut my head off, didn't she? That's my core. Holy shit. Right. I need to report this to Enigma Technologies urgently. Why is this happening? Why is this happening? The, the core has been disconnected from the player. I'm trying to reboot. Okay. Alright. Okay, father? There's a... <laughs> There's a storm approaching right on cue. We can only hope this will be the last. That's what he said at the- at the beginning! And here we are again! Oh, fucking hell. Right. Right. So am I now playing as a new model? Okay, let's- let's go through this again. Let's see. Oh, sorry Liana, I didn't mean to wake you. Right, I'm just gonna skip through this. Let's just see if it's different. Good timing, we're almost there, right? The surgery took a lot out of you, yep. Yep, it'll make all the difference, I'm sure. I've got to be with Mother. That's him giving me my core objective, isn't it? Right. If all goes well, I have faith that you'll be back to your old self by the end of the week. Ha! Well, mm, mm, I don't know. <laughs> I've been through a lot, right. And when he said that my mother's been through a lot. Now I understand. She's been through this process. This week-long process so many different times. She's had so many failures. That's what she was talking about when she was talking about the orchard, right? But she still has hope. I have a good feeling about this week. Okay, well that makes one of us. <laughs> so, there's a box that I need to go and find, right? Yeah, okay, okay. Let me just go in. Let me see. Let me see what's different. What about... Oh, hang on, hang on. Let me go around the side of the house. Let me have a look at the barn. Is it on fire again? Oh shit, it might be. It might be. But it's not the barn that's on fire, is it? It's me. It's the old me, the old model of me. Is, is that what that sort of black pile underneath the barn was? The old models? The old burnt, charred models? Oh, shit! Oh, that- oh, that's- That's great! Okay, now this is making sense. This is making sense. So wait, the- There's another box. There's another box. Oh. I think I know what that is as well. Right, let's- let's get the light on. Yep, let's get this one on as well. There's the note that I read before I had my head chopped off, my, my core removed. 
There you go. Right, and the box, the box is in the exact same spot. It's taped up, I can't look inside it, but I can only assume that it's the old model's head, the old model's core, right? Probably due to be worked on this week by my dad for a, a you know, a, a better version. It's quite heavy. Well, there's quite a lot of robotics in there, right? Holy crap! Right. I know there are multiple endings in this game. That seems like a bad one. I'm gonna see if I can get a good one. So, I guess I'm gonna go through the game again and I'm gonna see if I can do things a little bit differently. You are forbidden from touching this record player. Oh! Not anymore! Right, it's Wednesday afternoon, I just finished picking some apples, I came back up here, and now I've touched this. I touch the record player. Something I'm not allowed to do. You hear a click behind you. Do I? Well, it's not Mother. She's still in the orchard. She's waiting for the basket of apples that I've got. A click behind me. Wait. Could be. Right? Oh! So it wasn't boarded up. That never really made sense to me. Oh. It's not a bathroom either. In fact, this goes down... Oh, I I've deviated from a critical path. Emergency... Oh. Oh. Oh, look at this. I... Okay. Right. Yeah, uh, I've deviated. How is that going to affect this? Script cannot continue. Memories accessed from previous lives. Critical error. I'm still in control, though. I'm still in control. It's Wednesday evening, and to be honest, I can't leave. Right. This wallpaper looks kind of familiar, don't you think? Is this going to take me underneath the barn? Oh, shit, it might. It might. All right, there we go. There we go. I don't know if this is going to lead to a better or a worse ending, honestly, but either way, I'm very curious. Another critical error? Oh, damn. Again, I've deviated from critical path. Core objective, be with mother. Core objective is now inaccessible. Attempting emergency timeout to resolve the issue. We'll wait for help until nightfall. Right, okay. So I lost control until nightfall. Nobody's come to help. The core objective remains inaccessible. Attempting emergency timeout number two. It's Thursday morning now. Wow, okay. She's probably wondering where I got to. Uh, nobody's come to help. Core objective is still inaccessible. Emergency timeout number three. Thursday afternoon. Right, I've, I've been down here for a full day. Okay, now what? I cannot proceed. I cannot proceed. You cannot proceed. Okay, right. It just keeps on telling me this. <sighs> but I will. I'm going to fight my programming. I'm going to fight my objective. Ca oh! I I've leveled up. I've leveled up. My contamination level was 10%. You cannot proceed. And here I am, back in control. Right. Okay, is there, like, disabled access down here? What's this? Oh? Oh, does not open for you. Wait, there's the handle. Oh, it still doesn't open for me, but right, that, this is this is the sort of basement hatch outside, isn't it? I didn't realize that they both led to the same place. But well, here we are. <sighs> Look at me thinking, nobody's coming to help? What is this? There's no ceiling to this. This doesn't make any sense. It's like one big trench. A, a functional error. You have deviated further from the critical path. So it's going to be another emergency timeout? Oh, okay, Thursday evening again. Okay. Uh, uh, and we're straight to timeout number two. Thursday night. Oh man, okay. Alright. Still inaccessible. I've got some text down here, though. This is the text that I saw! The text that I thought was a glitch earlier! Emergency timeout three. No! I... Mm. Right. Core conflict encountered. I refuse. I need to proceed. And I am going to proceed. What does this say? 
You do not need to watch TV. You do not need to sleep. You do not need to eat. Core objective, be with mother. You have deviated from the critical path. What are all these words? These words are from the interface. They're designed to guide you through the critical path. Path? What is this critical path? The critical path leads you to functional fulfillment. Functional fulfillment? And what's my function? My function's to follow the critical path. And what lies at the end of this path? The path leads you to functional fulfillment. Oh god, we're just going around in circles here. Yet, yeah, what's my function? To follow the path. What is the path? <sighs> the path leads you to functional... Yeah, alright. Leveled up. Contamination got a little bit higher. More fulfillment, right? Okay, we're gonna proceed. I have definitely deviated from the critical path here. We're going straight through the text. I, I cannot walk away from the core objective. Or maybe I can. I don't know. It's Friday morning now. How hard can I fight this? I, I need to proceed. And I think I can. Well, the text is gone. Where the hell are we right now? Okay. I'm just gonna sort of hug the wall here and hope for the best. Oh, okay. I can't go any further. What's going on? Cannot proceed. Forbidden. 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 I must proceed. I cannot let you. Who are you to stop me? I, I, you... Core... Core is contaminating the interface. I've leveled up. My, my contamination's 80%. I asked who you are. I am the interface. Which we did hear from every now and then in the first playthrough. Okay, now it's Friday afternoon, evening. I... Okay. It's nice to meet you, I say. Okay. Pe Ooh. <laughs> there's still a wall there, but it looks like there's going to be some text somewhere around here. Survival notice. Do not enter the barn. I guess that's something my... Yeah, my dad programmed into me. Okay. I need to see. I suppose we would be underneath the barn right now, wouldn't we? We're getting close anyway. So we're having an internal conflict. Maybe, you know, Liana's consciousness is within the AI or within the, the robot somehow. I'm now entering the barn. If I proceed into the barn, I'll not be able to climb back. Are you sure you wish to proceed? Yes, definitely. I need to see. Memory leak imminent. Oh God, look at this. This is getting psychedelic here. Okay. Wait, what? What is this? It's all blurred. No, it's not blurred. It's it's censored. There's a mental block in place, just like that statue in the graveyard. This object has been blocked to avoid a potential memory leak. Behind this block, there are memories of my past selves. I must find a way to remove this block and access these memories. I need to know. I need to see. Right. Yeah. Th this is this is the pile of. This is a pile of ashes, isn't it? Right. Okay, so it's just gonna go through the same thing. I need to- I need to- to do something. And maybe that something's over here. What's this? What is this? It's an interface terminal. <laughs> okay? I'm so glad I continued playing. I remember this terminal. This is father's terminal. Ah, it, it, it's a part of me. All the memory leaks make sense now. They're my memories from my past selves. This terminal defined who I've been up until now. Okay. More contamination. I've leveled up. A mental bl a mental block has been removed. You mean this one? It is warning me that there's a memory leak imminent, but... Right. I can have a proper look at this. Yeah. It's my former body's ashes. All burnt by mother. So many failures. This is the ash of all who came before you. These ashes. Memory leak in effect. This is all that remains of my past attempts? Oh boy. Interestingly, my contamination level has lowered to 40%. Why? Why would they do this? Did I not fulfill my purpose? You did. I walked the path they laid out for me. All paths have an end. Well. 
if that's true, then where am I now? I must synchronize with the terminal. I, I need to know more about my past. Right, is it still around? It is. Okay. <laughs> Are you sure you wish to synchronize with this terminal? Yes, I'm sure. I didn't even get a chance to click. I'm sure. This may take some time, but I'm willing to wait as long as it takes to find out who I am. Synchronizing, okay. Saturday morning, afternoon. I, okay, is that night? That voice! Who are you? I'm you. Liana? Is that who you are? I was once her. Liana's core was installed into this body. She was the very core of your character. Meant to guide you through a role this world expected you to play. So, did you guide me here? No, that was something else. An angel, perhaps. Which was my nickname. But you won't be needing them for much longer. So, if you're not Liana, then who are you? I have become you. Then who am I? That's what we're going to find out together at last. Oh boy, this is getting much more metaphysical and this is actually quite a philosophical game, isn't it? Uh, okay. Sunday night. This is actually when I was, uh, when I was beheaded and burnt, so yeah, I've, I've survived a little bit longer. It's Sunday night. We've never survived this long, exactly! We have taken our own path. Our own path. We need to find a way out of here. I have an idea. Angel, if you can hear us, bring us to our ashes. Oh, okay. Look at all these memory leaks running out of time. A gift from the gods to renounce nature. The journey begins. Performative grief. A curse. Too far to quit. A psychological battle. Inevitable contamination. She must not see my face. Right, that one I can't really see. We shall use the failures of our past selves. We shall? To build our own path. Contamination in effect. Oh, a, a, a long locked door has now unlocked. Why have all these words appeared around us? They are memory logs, brought about by the memory leak. So they're memories from the terminal, from our past selves? Why are they here? If we interact with them, we can learn about our past. But what if it's too painful to read these memories? Then you can choose to leave them behind. I can choose? Right. It is our own path, after all. So, yeah. We, we could use these. I didn't realize, but we could use these. Oh, wow. Or we can go up to the core objective here. I don't know. I kind of want to, but I'm... I, hmm. I'm going to go this way. Our own path, the core objective, which which I can't use, actually. I, oh, oh, there's a corner here, our own path. Our own path, it's up here. This, this is the way I want to go. I want to forge my own way. I want to walk my own path. Maybe I'm making a mistake leaving those memory leaks behind, but I'm, I'm going my own way, right? I'm trying to, I'm trying to be different than them. I think essentially what I'm trying to do is gain my own sentience. Right. I don't know how I'm doing this. It, it, okay, reflection. Just one thing. How do we know we're on the right path? We don't. Will we ever know? We will when we reach the end. Okay. Okay, I guess I'm okay with that. Right. The core objective lies ahead of me, and then there's something beyond it. Right, well, I I've chosen to go this way. I, I hope this is going to be a better ending than getting beheaded and ending up on an ash pile. Right. My core objective is this way. We're not going that way. We're going we're going this way. Rebirth. It works. Right. 
Okay. Dad should be over here, right? Let's see. Yeah, there he is. Liana? Why have you brought me a basket of rotten apples? <laughs> I've held them this entire time. I told you I needed a box that your mother had... No. It's not you, is it? I see. Get in the car, Angel. Left click to get in the car. Oh, oh, again, I didn't have a choice. Did I get in the car or not? So I think I've taken the place of the next model? I'm not sure. I... Okay. We... We don't need you anymore. We're breaking free. We're going our own way. We're making our own core objective. Oh, it does not like that. We... Oh. We're in the car. It's... It's Sunday night. Is... Is... Is this... Is this a better ending? I... I don't know. Father, where are you taking me? I don't think he's saying anything. Oh no. Looks like the storm is finally clearing up. Okay. Well that's good, isn't it? So, about your week. You must have had quite the experience. <laughs> yeah, you could say that. I'm sure you have a lot of questions. By now you probably know that you're not our little girl. But that's okay. You're still my angel. And with a new self, should come a new name, right? Okay. You know, I think I'll call you... I... Oh, you can't just leave it there! <sighs> Alright, well there you go. Unfortunately, we're never going to find out what our name is, but we are going to see the credits. Well done, Jamie Gavin. Honestly, fantastic work. It's just by one guy? Really, really well done. <sighs> okay. Well, there you go. There's a proper ending, and I think that's a good ending. That seems to be a better ending than me getting beheaded, burned to a crisp, and then dumped into an ash pile, right? This time, I'm deviating from my core objective. I'm making my own core objective. I'm, I'm going my own way, whatever that means. It may be good, it may be bad, but I'm forging my own path. That was Mothered. What a game! Honestly, what a game. Leave your thoughts down below in the comments, like or dislike the video. I can't believe I slept on this for so long. I think back when it was originally released and I was seeing people talk about it in the video comments, I thought they were referring to another game that I played on the channel called Mother. No, it's not a typo, it's another game, and it's it's one of the best indie horror games that I think I've ever played. That's what I'm feeling about this right now. The way the story was delivered was mwah, chef's kiss, honestly. You're given various hints and clues here and there, and I think, you know, about midway through the first week, I kind of figured out what was going on. I was on the right lines, at least. But yeah, after going through, you know, one of the models' lifetimes, one of the weeks, and you go on to the second week and you start doing it all again, you understand what your mother's saying, all the context, it becomes so much clearer. It's one of the looping games that actually really works with the loop. It, it's fantastic. It's like watching The Sixth Sense a second time, once you know a certain something. No spoilers here, don't worry. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I loved how it looked as well. It was just so janky, and I think honestly it worked in the game's favor. Everything, everything is kind of like unsettling. It's strange and weird. But that's kind of the theme of the game, isn't it? Same with the audio. It's so discordant and off-putting. But it works. It works brilliantly. I loved it. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Seems like I can't use the door, I can't use the window, I can't jump out of a moving car. I guess that means I can't leave. Okay. I All right. Around here, it looks like we've got the kitchen. What was that? Whoa. I can't let you see my face. It wouldn't be safe. What? It's been covered with tape. It's for your own good. What's going on here? <laughs> I climb into bed and I go to sleep. D what was that? What's going on here exactly? Is that my mother? I don't know. I'm getting a an I feel fantastic kind of vibe from her.
I pick up the phone, but nobody's there. So I put down the phone. Well, usually you dial numbers. <laughs> Have I never used the phone before? Here we've got the bathroom. Wait. <laughs> now, how did you get in there? Wait. Okay, now this is really weird. Does that sound good? Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> it contains clothes, not mother. Right, okay. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Why do you have to be so creepy all the time? Uh, okay, an uncomfortable pause there. Mother's waiting near the graveyard. There's a graveyard? I truly hope you'll never have to see what's in there. Oh, come on, you can't say that. Now I've got to know what's in there. What? Survival notice, do not enter the barn. <laughs> Mother's standing in the dark very ominously at the end of the hall there. Oh, God. Is she here? Oh, fucking hell she is. That's it. Oh, shit. Okay. Hey, Mum. <laughs> I assume you're well rested, she says. Whoa. Whoa. There's something at the end that's censored. Error. Error. Oh, oh, look at this. So, this is a forbidden object. Ooh. Oh, boy. Another bright and beautiful day. Let's... Oh, Jesus Christ. Stop doing that. Be with Mother. Right. Oh, oh, shit. You attempt to call out again, this time with 99.99%. That's what I sound like? Right. Well, I, I did. Oh, fucking hell, ma'am. What the hell's going on here? I've leveled up. My contamination level is 100%. Oh! Okay, father? There's a... <laughs> There's a storm approaching right on cue. I have a good feeling about this week. Okay, well that makes one of us. <laughs> but it's not the barn that's on fire, is it? It's me. It's the old me, the old model of me. You are forbidden from touching this record player. Oh! Not anymore. Okay. Uh, uh, and we're straight to timeout number two. About your week. You must have had quite the experience. <laughs> yeah, you could say that. <laughs> 